Because when it comes down to the Bobbies, Latoya ain't claim Bobby the Bargy, and Janet Jackson ain't never, ever, ever, ever going to claim Bobby the Brown. Never! <laughs> Hello friends, this is Nabrob with the public service announcement. It has come to my attention that I have robbed some of you guys the wrong way. I understand that sometimes I may take it too far. I'd like to apologize to you all. Please keep in mind, at all times, these is just jokes. And my sole purpose for making these videos is to give you creative, comedic content. Not to hurt your feelings. Well, hello there, love bugs. Hello there, Bellas. If you have not already done so, please Remember to like, share to Facebook, subscribe, and visit UptopBeauty.com. And if you are not already a part of this book club, please hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube. And for a small monthly fee of $5, you babies, yes you, can be privy to all the the shenanigans before the YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. Now, let's continue reading The Magic, The Madness, The Whole Story, 1958 to 2009, Michael Jackson by J. Randy Terrebo Lele. I will absolutely not be going to Europe with the Victory Tour. Good luck to you. Michael, on December 9th, 1984, after the last song of the evening, Michael hollered out from the Los Angeles stage, this is our last and final show. Paul, sometimes y'all in the comments be pissing me off. So when I had said a couple of videos ago that Michael Jackson never officially left the Jackson yes. statement, was shut up that, that statement was after i read the latoya jackson book who said that michael jackson never left the jackson five or the jacksons never left the group it was only jermaine one of you down in the comments had said that's not true because michael had said at the end of this tour, the victory tour, and then let me say the words again, this is our last and final show. That could mean that this is the last show for this tour. This is the final show for this tour. I will never do a show with my brothers again. This is the final time. I will never fuck with these dudes again. It was too stressful for me. It did not say Nathan about that I was leaving the group. And as reckless as Michael Jackson's mouth is, just as much as he could say, this is my last tour, this is our final tour with the brothers, he could easily say, I'm leaving these niggas. Nothing about that statement says I'm done with, with the, the, the Jackson. So I don't know where he got that. It's been a long 20 years and we love you all. That's it. 
Nothing about that says I'm leaving the Jacksons. The brothers looked at Michael with surprised expressions as if his declaration was news to them. Probably was, probably was news to them. Probably didn't expect for his brother to be like, I'm so happy this shit is over. Okay, but nothing says I'm leaving my brothers. What a little prick, one of the brothers said of Michael afterwards. How dare he, the little creep. There's no way Michael Jackson should be as big as he is and treat his family the way he does. Don King fumed after the final show when it was clear to him that he would not be taking the show abroad. He feels his father did him wrong. His father may have done some wrong, but he also had to do a whole lot right. He did not leave the Jacksons, ninja. He went on. What Michaels got to realize is that Michaels under. It doesn't matter how great he can sing and dance. I don't care that he can prance. He's one of the mega stars of the world, but he's still going to be a new mega star. He must accept that. Not only must he understand that, he's got to accept it and demonstrate that he wants to be a ninja. Why? To show that a ninja can do it. If it was possible for Michael to blow sky high when he read those comments, he would have done it. Sue his ass, he told John Bronca. That guy has been pushing my last nerve since day one. John knew better than to drag the Don King experience into a new year with fresh litigation. He calmed Michael down as he always managed to do and convinced him to let it go. When Michael wrote of the victory tour in his autobiography, Moonwalk, he didn't mention Don King, Joseph and Katherine Jackson, Chuck Sullivan, or any of the other principal players behind the scenes. Of his brothers, he took the high ground as he always does. It was a nice feeling playing with my brothers again, he wrote graciously. We were all together again. I enjoyed the tour. You see how fake- While Michael Jackson and his brothers were preoccupied with the victory tour, trouble was brewing at home too. Much to everyone's dismay, Janet, who turned 18 on May 16, 1984, had become involved with a young singer named James DeBarge. James is from a large singing family from Grand Rapids, Michigan. The same DeBarge that had been the Jacksons' stable mates at Motown. And he and Janet seemed to have common ground, at least superficially, since both were from show business families. So something's not right because we didn't read that uh it it was was it it was bobby debarge okay i made a mistake and said tommy debarge before but we know that bobby debarge had fell in love with latoya jackson but it's like they don't want to mention it like it's a secret or something it's something about them man once they through with you they through with you they don't want no affiliation with your ass period like janet and, and, and for real, we shouldn't be surprised because when it comes down to the Bobbies, Latoya ain't claim Bobby the Bargy, and Janet Jackson ain't never, ever, ever, ever going to claim Bobby the Brown. Never. It's something about them Bobbies. I don't know if Janet and Latoya sat down and said, look, we better never claim these mothers in our life, okay? Because it's going to come back and hit us in the neck. Later, Joseph and Catherine disapproved of the relationship, saying that James was combative and unpredictable. Oh, that's what drugs make you do. Be combative and unpredictable. Because if they ain't got it, child, they gonna let the world know I ain't got it. But I need to get it. Joseph and Catherine disapproved of the relationship, saying that James was combative and unpredictable. Plus, in their view, Janet was young and inexperienced. Oh, you see that you know?